In this lesson, we're going to look at how to change a chart type once it's been created. The type of chart you use is actually very important. I select some data, A1 to B13. Remember, I've selected the titling and my data, but not the totals, unless there's a very good reason to do that. And then I'm going to run the chart wizard. I often find that people will select a chart based on how pretty it's going to look at the end result, but that's not the correct criteria. Charts are used for a very specific reason. If I select a column, for example, it shows us down here the general reason why a column chart would be used, and it's to compare values across different categories. If I use a bar chart, it's to compare values across categories, it's just the other way on. Line chart is, um, say, as Mark has displayed at each data value. But again, even when you select the subchart types, it gives you a different reason. So the standard chart is to display trend over time or categories. The pie chart is to display the contribution of each value towards total. These are very important that you get the right kind of chart. But we all make mistakes. Um, so I want to show you how to correct that once it's been done. I'm going to create this data as a pie chart. And then just very quickly, I'm not going to go through all the options. So I'm going to click finish. There's my pie chart. Now that could be appropriate because you're looking at the total number of sales in 12 weeks. And therefore, they are adding up to the whole. So that's fine. But I think it has to be better as a bar chart or a column chart. So I'm going to show you how to change that. There are two ways. One is, well, three ways really. One is to make sure you've got your chart selected and rerun the chart wizard. And then make your changes here. The second way is to use the chart menu. We can do chart and change the chart type. And then we can make changes there. Change it to a column. And the third way is simply to use the, the uh, toolbar. Now remember, if you can't see the toolbar, it might just be that it's anchored somewhere on the screen. Let's click and drag it down to make it obvious. And again, if the toolbar doesn't appear, it's probably because the last time it was used, it was closed. The idea is if you click off a chart, the toolbar will disappear. And then click on the chart and it will reappear. If it doesn't reappear, it's probably because it's been closed, that stops it reappearing, you'd have to switch it on using view, toolbars, chart. But that's a different lesson, really. So we've got our chart. To change the chart type on the toolbar, we just use this icon here, chart type, and make our selections. So that's changing the chart type when the chart is all of one type. But let's have a look if we've selected more than one set of data. So I'm going to actually create a chart now with two sets of data in it. Oops. Run the chart wizard. Just leave it all at column and then click finish. Oh, I'll just make that a bit bigger. Once we've done that, I'm thinking, well, average price of houses sold, perhaps that would be better as a line chart to show that there's a trend. So what we can do is change just this series into a different type of chart. Again, always more than one way of doing things. The first step is the wrong way. If we run the chart wizard and make changes here, or use chart, chart type, then the problem with that is that it changes the whole chart. And that's not what we want. We want to just be able to change one series. So the purpose, it, the, the way we do this is to make sure you select that series first. And like always, more than one way to do things. First way is just to single click on the series, any column of the series. And you can see it's put a little square on each column. You've got to make sure each column is selected. If you click again, then you're selecting just that one column, and that wouldn't be right for this purpose. So make sure you've got 
and you need to click away. Make sure that you've got a dot in each column. The second way of doing that, because that can be quite tricky for some people, is to use the toolbar again. On the toolbar, if you use the drop down selector, then we can choose which series or any other part of the chart from here. So I want to choose the average price of houses. So I'll select it. You see, it's done the same thing. It's put those squares in so we know it's been selected correctly. Now, because we've done that, we can use chart, chart type to make changes. And it'll make the changes just to that series that we had selected. Alternatively, if I select the number of houses sold, see we'd select with those dots, then we can use this icon as well. So that's changing the chart type for a specific data series. We select the data series and then either use this icon or the chart menu to change the chart type.